What's going on everybody? Corey, also known as that TCG guy here. Uh, it is July 4th. Woo. Uh, <laughs> Uh, tomorrow I get on a flight uh, with my wife to go to Ireland for two weeks. You're not gonna see any streams uh, this week. You're also, uh, you're gonna get one video this week, you're gonna get a video next week, um, which I have pre-scheduled, because I'm smart. And, and then that's it, and I'll be back, fly back in July 15th, and then Tuesday of that week after we'll be starting the streams up again. So I wanted to get some videos out for you guys. So I have two gameplay videos for you, one this week, one next week. This week's game, was super fun. Uh, I had a couple of awesome guests. I had Shauna Giles, uh, editor over at the Command Zone. I had Mark Gould, who is MTG TikTok royalty. Uh, and then I had Commander Guru, uh, one of my good buddies from out here on the East Coast. So yeah, quick intro. You have myself playing Dernan and a passionate archeologist. You then have Shauna playing Brutus party leader and folk hero, those two backgrounds and commanders from the, uh, actually it is the pre-con, for the party time pre-con. We then have Mark playing Shiri Shiz, Shizro's caretaker? Shizos. Words. I don't know them. And then we have Commander Guru playing Perry the Platypus, also known as Perry the Pulverizer. It was an awesome game. Uh, definitely watch it through uh, and then do, just do that. Sorry, I'm a little bit anxious. I don't like flying and I have a six hour flight tomorrow. So I'm rambling. Super fun. And yeah, check, just, let, let's just, we'll go to the game. Here we go. Everything's on fire. There it is. <laughs> Hello everybody. Welcome. Uh, we are still dealing with a, a minor, just a, the littlest technical difficulty, but we're almost ready to go. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, while we wait, we're waiting on Commander Guru. He's almost ready. He's just working on some camera issues. Uh, but I wanted to come in and say hello to everybody because I don't want everyone sitting watching a starting soon screen. So in the meantime, I have some, some new friends, uh, new friends to the show. Super excited. Basically like internet celebrities if you watch TikTok or, you know, YouTube. So that's crazy. Uh, so I'm gonna let them say hello, uh, introduce themselves, and then uh, we'll wait for uh, for Rob to come back from Commander Guru before we get Hi. started. Oh, he's here. Well, he's in Discord, probably. <laughs> in the Discord, yeah. yeah. We're back sense. here at least. Is he? Oh, did I? Maybe I made this live. I don't know how that works. Anyway, whatever. Uh, all right, so we'll start off with, uh, with Mark, who is up to my right. Stage right? I don't know. Stage right? Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, say hello. Let everyone know who you are, what you do, and uh, where they can find you. If you want to spam links also in chat, feel free to go ahead. Go nuts. Perfect. Uh, hi, name is Mark. Also go by Mook Dubs. Definitely not a celebrity. Uh, I just like to make <laughs> silly little videos on TikTok at Mook Dubs MTG. And then I started a new YouTube show called Spicy Play, where I bring guests on to show off their decks after they eat a very, very hot pepper, and I watch them suffer for everyone's amusement. Oh, I'm, uh, oh and I'll, I'm here for this. And I'll put my link in the chat. Hell yeah. Where you can see all that stuff. Thanks. And I'll, I'll uh, I'm Shauna. I'm a video editor at Command Zone. I try to get them to talk about CDH, even though they really don't want to talk about CDH. But um, <laughs> occasionally they don't, oh, hey, I see your video. Hey, Fantastic. you got in there. Sweet. We figured it out. Yeah, um, it was definitely my computer. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at underscore at Shauna Gillis underscore. I am trying to use Twitter. Um, took me a while to get used to it, but I, I think I'm getting pretty good. Um, I'm also playing on the MLC on most Saturdays of the month, so you should come watch that. You can find them at MLCDH on Twitter, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool. And then, uh, so we started doing introductions while you were away for a minute. So if you want to introduce yourself. I mean, hi. My name's Rob. I'm the Commander Rob. Guru. You may and most likely may not know me from my various escapades on Instagram and the incredibly sparse postings on Twitter. Um, or you've seen me on other people's streams doing the thing where we, we, we play games and we, we hurl spells at each other. Yeah. Um, you can catch me at the underscore commander underscore guru on Instagram, or you can catch me on Mon uh, Tuesdays, no Mondays and Thursdays, uh, starting back up in two weeks on my own stream. Uh, yeah. 
yeah, where we'll be, you know, throwing fireballs at each other. I uh, hope to get you on there, Corey. It'll be a good Definitely. time. Yeah, last we time do. last time we played was at Alan's house, Mental Misplays house. Yeah, the, the yeah. live, the, the in person stream, which was super fun. <laughs> I know, <laughs> IRL games, they're, they're weird. Did you so did weird. you go to that other one he did? The like uh, command. I Fest was unable to make it to that one. Yeah, yeah, the post command zone one or post command fest one. Yep. I was unable to make it. Damn. Yeah, I, I couldn't go to that one either, so that was a bummer. But yeah. Anyway, we have everybody Next here. One. We're ready to go. Oh, I gotta. We have to, have to reset my commander because I changed the room. Oh yeah. So I'm not doing the four to the floor one because we actually have a screen here. So I'm gonna do Perry the pul pulverizer. Perry. I can't help but hear like Perry the platypus when someone plays that deck. Like. Yeah, it's the only thing I think of. It's crazy. Actually, I'm excited to see because. I old Perry and I was like oh maybe I'll build that I don't have any I've never played Bant before and then it they is said they're like reprinting Rune and back to like the whole command so thing I was like ever since I saw like that Rune deck I was like oh that looks like my kind of like stupid deck I don't know how it wins and I just want to play it and maybe but win was it Josh once. playing the Rune deck yeah like I fell in yeah. love with the idea of that deck as soon as I watched that episode yeah and then you and play then, it and you're Oh, this is kind of mean to my opponents. But. It was that, and then they were like talking about all the double master stuff, and like it was like Blink's a big archetype for the draft. It's like, ooh, a rune reprint, and they right. did it, and they did Oral, which I did just proxy. That deck is just dumb. <laughs> Oral's fun. Yeah, it's so fun. All right. Oh, I didn't say what I was playing. I said I was playing you guys, but I didn't say the stream. I'm playing uh, Shirai. So I'm just gonna. Yeah. So typically, what we do black is, stuff. yeah, before your turn one. So we'll. I'm gonna. Oh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna like mix us all up for the turn order. But then, yeah, right before oh, yeah. you start, just you know, say who you're playing, what you want to do, and then just oh. go right in a right in a turn. Oh, oh man, yeah. I like it. Super simple, super easy. Uh, before we actually, let me let me randomize everyone now because I will forget. Uh, Manson, you know what this commander does? I've never heard of this commander before in my life. Mance is in chat, Shiri on Shire. Now you have to look up Shire. It's, I feel like I saw, it was, um, I was playing with a buddy and he was just like, we all thought we were like playing our most powerful decks and he already beat us before. He's like, I'll play it Shire. It's casual fun. And just like, none of us knew what to do with what he was doing. <laughs> the only Shire deck I've ever played was a Shire, um, What's the the disciple that you can have as many in the deck as you as oh, you? Oh, the Shadowborn Apostle. Yeah. Shadowborn nice. Apostle, yeah, it was a Shiri Shadowborn deck, and it was really dumb. It's fun. Right it's... Back. My dog's looking for his bone. Oh yeah, yeah. It's right here. It's right. Here. <laughs> Premium content. <laughs> boy, we we don't, dog. don't deserve dogs. My dog. We don't deserve dogs. Although, I want my cat to come. We out. we really don't deserve dogs. Yeah. <laughs> my dog's sleeping next to my wife right now, so he's he's never coming back out of that room. All right. Every she now and then, like, if, the dog. If, if I'm streaming when like my fiance's not home, my cat hangs out with me and yep. we'll just sit right on my lap. But she's home, so it's, the, the cat's the cat's, the cat's got a there. different lap. Oh yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, my dog loves me unless my wife's home. If my wife's home, I don't exist. It's like, <laughs> Dad, who are you? You feed me, I'm out of here. Whatever. It um, doesn't matter. Is there food in your hand? Yeah. Huh? No. I've got other places to be. I got things to do. Mm. Uh, and he, like, religiously will, like, if it's 10 o'clock, he will bark until my wife goes to bed so he can go lay down next Oof. to her. So we got to figure that out. But it's adorable. Um, all right. So before we begin, uh, you may notice, and I actually may move uh, move this so it's not right over Shauna's face here. Hold on. <laughs> uh, you may see a QR code somewhere on the screen. Yeah, I'm going to put it here. And then... Move it over to me. I don't there care. we go. Uh, so uh, a couple days ago, yeah, a couple days ago, I was doing a charity stream for Trans Lifeline uh, with um, Donnie from Filthy MTG Casuals and uh, Trivial Encounters and Big Dan. Uh, so we were doing uh, some charity stuff uh, for Trans Lifeline to try to raise some money for that. Uh, the campaign is still going. Uh, we raised 250 bucks uh, during that stream, but we're trying to hit 500. I didn't close it out yet. So if anyone is in chat and you feel like donating, you're feeling generous. Uh, you can scan the QR code down in the bottom 
corner, or uh, eventually it should pop up um, in chat with the, the donation link, uh, and then you can go right there to donate. Uh, if you can and you want to, awesome. Do not feel like you have to. It is absolutely not necessary to be hanging out here, uh, but it's for a good cause, and if you can, I definitely uh, recommend going and checking that out. So that is there. I think we're ready to play. We're all shuffled up. Everyone's good to go. We all have our starting hands. So uh, this is the turn order. So Sean is going to be going, kicking us off here. So whenever you're ready. I love this turn order. Yeah, it's great. Okay. I am playing Broncos Folk Hero. I played it exactly one time before and it went okay. Um, but, but yeah, I have kept seven and I'm very excited. Sweet. Uh, drop for turn. I will play a swamp and pass the turn. I didn't even know. I will be playing uh, Shire. Uh, this is my second time playing with it. First time went pretty well until somebody basically put out a, a ley line that basically shut the deck off until somebody like sacrificed themselves to let me win. But I'll jump. Uh, I'm gonna swap. I'll pay one for a blood pet, and I'm gonna pass. All right. Draw. I am playing uh, Perry the Pulverizer. Uh, I'm just trying to make big creatures that have as many counters that do different things on them as possible. Um, yeah. Just big, big, dumb bant. Love it. So kind of go. big, dumb bant, 1-1 one, one counters. Kind of like a, a personal favorite archetype of mine. All right, I'm going to play a Temple of Mystery and Scry. And we're going to... Throw that to the bottom and pass the turn. All right, I am playing Durnan of the Yawning Portal and Passionate Archaeologist. Um, it's just exile shenanigans, so it's a lot of uh, impulse draw. Uh, it's a lot of putting things in exile and trying to deal damage to everybody uh, based on uh, casting stuff out of exile. So we'll see how it goes. This is the the exact first time I'm playing this deck. So uh, oh shit, it'll be. <laughs> it'll... I just put your stream on. I love the run run the dual dual shirt. Oh hell yeah, I got this at Command Fest uh, Richmond. Fuck yeah, is love it. Run the jewels with like. The is it holding? Is it holding the jewel like a fuck? Yeah. yeah. Hell that yeah. Is awesome, but yeah. Also, shout out run the jewels because they're incredible. Oh, shout out. <laughs> in like case. they're listening. They're like, oh, yo, yeah, the you boys know are watching right now. Love you. Listen, you don't know. Fucking senses fail. Follow me. Dude, I don't yeah. know if any of them play magic. That's insane. So dumb. I think. I think uh, the lead singer. He's just trying to do like social media. So yeah. like, anytime somebody tags the band. They're just he's just following. Like, oh, we'll follow. No, no, I don't. I don't care. I'll take it. They're just big into magic. We don't know. I hope. I wish. <laughs> um, I want to play Wooded Foothills. I will lose one and sack it and look for something. Uh, ooh, here the Cinder Glade. That looks good. Uh, and that's going to enter mm. tapped, and then I'm just going to pass. Nice draw. Hmm. I will play a points and pass. One tip, and I will draw. I will play a. Womp. And I'll play a burglar rat. Uh, and everyone will discard a card. Oh, okay. uh, Except me. Each opponent, sorry. I will choose a swamp. I will choose this arcane bombardment. Uh, damn, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of Broker's Confluence. Uh, and then since I made everybody discard, I will throw a 1-1 one -one at it. Oh. Holy shit. Uh, we just got raided by the Commander Rules Committee. Let's go. Yeah, Hello, everybody from the Commander Rules Committee. What's up? I don't know why the alert didn't go off, but... Uh, <laughs> Yo, mental misplay. We got Scott of the RC. There he is. There's Alan. What's up, everybody? You're all banned. Hello. Oh, God. What's the deal? Hello, everybody. Welcome. You're just in time for the literal start of the game. I think we're on turn two right now. <laughs> what's up? Oh shit, what's up, Alan, baby? What's your deal? <laughs> <laughs> Scott, what's up? How you doing? Scott, I don't know you, but what's up, baby? There's the. Oh, there. that, um, what? Scott's fight beaters? Right? No. Uh, oh, there it is. There's the alert. Damn. But it came up with an exclamation point instead of the actual number, so that's the thing. Oh, all right, so is that my turn? I'm sorry. Yes. We my just, apologies. We distracted. Draw. I just got super excited about the raid. I was lucky enough to hang out with uh, 
with Scott from the rules committee at uh, at the actually at the after party, the unofficial official after party. That unofficial official. Turn Ireland into play and play a um, an incubation druid. Very cool. And we'll pass the turn. All right. And untap. We will draw a card of the magical variety. <gasps> I'm gonna play this forest. And then I will tap two for a lightning race. White whiskey, thanks for the follow. Also, I'm gonna be saying ouch a lot. I just got a tattoo today, and it's in the worst possible spot for this. Ouch. So ouch. I will constantly be going ooh ah e. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I apologize ahead of time. No, nice. you're totally fine. And I'm all set after that. Nice. At your end step, I will flash in this deep gnome terramancer because none of you guys played a land. None of you guys played a fetch land, so I have to do it normally. Then I'll untap for my turn. Draw. Uh, uh, I will tap two for folk hero and pass the turn. What's it? Draw this card. I'll be sad that I missed the land drop and I'm going to have to play this bajuka bug. Uh, Corey, you got two cards, so I'm going to exile with your graveyard. That just is of, fair. Just because of math. <laughs> because of math. That works. Yeah. Uh, and then... I think I'll just pay one. Yeah, and I'll play the best card. Uh, College of Familiar. Just because it's a cat. Um, it's just a cat. Yeah, I'm going to gain one life. Uh, oh, you're shoot. all going to lose one. That's fair. So Why? I forgot to mention... Uh, I have channel points that people can redeem, and now it's- I see that. You can completely opt out of this. There's two, oh no, there's three that affect everybody unless you don't want to do it, which is fine. One of them is, uh, people can choose someone to take, like, a swig of hot sauce, which kind I of- the whole show around the idea of that, sort of. Exactly, so I was gonna say, you're probably right at home there. I don't have anything in the fridge, because- I'm, I'm trying to put off having to do another episode myself for as long as Dude, I can. I told you, whenever you need someone, hit me up. I'll I got, go to the store tomorrow. I got one more episode. If I can crank out the rest of the edit, that'll be out tomorrow, probably yep. Saturday. I got one more I'm sitting on that I haven't touched. And then I got to finish like work edits. Yep. Um, and then I want to start reaching out to people who are interested in eating a hot pepper yep. on camera. I'm, I'm on Hi. board. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Open invitation to everybody <laughs> at the table right now. Sweet. I will cry on camera for you. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Manson knows that I'm not a spicy person. That's, I think I'll actually die. <laughs> that's fine. That's why I said people can completely opt out of it. Uh, the other two, though, is to sing your next turn or to use your best, like, YouTube slash streamer voice. So oh, that's shit. That, I, like, sing, hey, everybody, I sing what's most going of my on? turns Let's anyway, this. so that's <laughs> fucking dope. Again, so what's did something happen? So what do we have to do? We have to do something now? No, uh, so uh, one of them is, uh, another one is like, uh, I can give my dog treats. Like I, I used to have a camera when I had my old desk that was like on his dog bed. Um, I don't have that set up right now. And I don't actually, honestly, I, like I said, my dog is like knocked out. So we will see if I can get him to come out. Um, I but can yeah. definitely give my dog treats because uh, he's upset right now. I have, a, I have a cat, but I'll give him He's extremely upset. <laughs> But yeah, so that just that came up. I was like, oh, that's right. I forgot. I always forget to tell people that that is things that can happen. Uh, and then, speaking of cat, I'll be passing after I play cat. Perfect. Draw for turn. Is that a pun? <laughs> is, that a is that a perfect pun? We are out here for it. Uh -oh. Um. Oh, Shaunas. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> deck just fell over. Just no, that, it, those were friends. You did say you just leave that up. Got the the slick sleeves. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna put an island into play, and then we're gonna tap. Ooh. Carefully put them back in the pile. <laughs> it's all good. That was pretty perfect. So you know, sorry. Vivid Grove. Oh, you just like a land swap? Is that what happened? Yeah, I'm sorry. I put an island into play, and I, that's, that's cool. not it's where I want it to be for the turn. I'll be sure to reference this if you win. 
You should actually write <laughs> it reason. down right now. This like, is what turn one three. Time? I'm gonna go ahead and call that. Like, oof, Sorry. Yeah. That turn three blunder, that bullshit you pulled. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Never again. Uh, I'm gonna cast Crystalline Giant. Um, at the beginning of combat on your turn, choose a kind of counter at random that Crystalline Giant doesn't have on it from among flying, first strike, death touch, hexproof, like blink, menace, reach, trample, vigilance, and a plus one plus one counter. Put a counter of that kind on Crystalline Giant. Um, I'm going to go to combat. I will roll a 10 sided die for just the order that they are listed on the card. Uh, four. So, what, flying, first strike, death touch. It has hex proof. Must be nice. And that's it. I'll pass the turn. All right. We will untap. Draw. I'm going to play this stomping ground tapped, because I don't quite need it. And then I will tap two for the passionate archaeologist, which is a background. Uh, whenever our commander creatures you have, excuse me, commander creatures you own have whenever you cast a spell from exile, this creature deals damage equal to that spell's mana value to target opponents. Oh, shit. So we'll be throwing some damage around, hopefully. Oh, uh, and that's, uh, that's all she wrote. I'm going to pass. Fantastic. Uh, draw. Yeah, we'll just play a planes and tap four for the commander. And so I go to combat. Who can I swing at with a two-two favorably? Is it just Corey? I'm completely open, so yeah. All right, Corey, take two. That's fair. You don't have Pass to save. It's favorable. I've been tooed. Uh, pass that was. That is a pass, and I'm gonna find my dog's bone before he literally <laughs> dies. Dinks. Okay. Or does it stink? I don't know if this stinks. I think this stinks, but... Alright, I guess I'll do... I'm gonna play a... Black... For Bubbling Muck. So I'm gonna... Until end of turn, the player taps for Swamp, taps for Double. So I'm gonna go... For four... Back the Blood Pet for Shire. And then I'm gonna pass after that. Okay. Going to untap. Draw. Um, I'm gonna play an island. And then Okay, so Vivid Grove can tap for any color mana because it has charge counters on it. Does that matter for Incubation Druid? Because um, it says it can tap for any type of mana that a land I control could produce. Hmm. Vivid Grove could produce any color mana with a counter on it. Does the Incubation Druid see the counter? That's an interesting question. Judge. Um, <laughs> Judge. Anybody I don't know because it's it's add one to your color pool. I don't know. I don't know how it works, if I'm being honest. I'm going to say... I would I would imagine when it has a counter, yes, because it could... It can produce any type, right? It could produce any type. I think. I think. I could... Again, I, I also could be wrong. You know what's amazing? Is... I bet you I can type in Incubation Druid Vivid Grove. Right. Uh, oh, <laughs> it sure. will immediately come up. Yeah. Because Google is amazing. Yeah. Dave, what's up? How you doing? Lynx Typhoon is saying yes. It does. Yeah. We're, so we're trying to figure out, does Incubation Druid tap for any color of mana because of Vivid Grove? So could, I think basically what's trying to happen is we have a Vivid Grove here with two counters on it. Can Incubation tap for white? I think is, is what's... You'd have to... Remove a counter, I assume first, because right now. Oh, it's okay. Not. Um, I, if I if, if incubation I does, incubation druid doesn't care about restrictions or wires that your lands put put on the mana they produce, so it doesn't matter. It says that on the card that can produce any mana, it can produce. So, okay, 
We're getting a lot of yeses sure. in chat as well, so. Yeah, I, tr I trust the internet. It's never yeah. led me wrong before. I've never, it's never been wrong. I've never Obviously, once, right? I've never See, this guy knows. Stuff. This guy knows. That's what I'm talking I'm, about. I'm pretty sure that's one of the rules of the internet, that it's never yeah, wrong. Yeah, it's never wrong. Uh, we're going to tap four. We're going to do white, blow, uh, uh, green, blue, and then one other. And we're going to cast parry. We're going to get parry onto the battlefield here. Parry. parry. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, I can put a shield counter on target creature. So we're actually going to put the shield counter on uh, Perry. <laughs> Perry. Perry. Do shield. Perry. And uh, we'll go to combat. I'll roll a 10-sided die. Um, four just won't be anything. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So lifelink. I have lifelink and hexproof. Pretty good. Um, I feel like that makes it so that I should swing with it. Um, I'm going to swing at Corey for three. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Look, the one attack I was fine with, but now... Because it's super, it's super free. And I'm going to gain three. And with that one in the books, we'll pass the turn. All right. We will untap. We will draw. I will play this forest... And then we are going to tap for four to bring out Durnan. And Durnan! He says, whenever he, whenever he attacks, look at the top four cards of your library. I can exile a creature card from among them, put the rest in the bottom of my library in any order. For as long as that card remains exiled, I may cast it, and then the spell has Undaunted, so it's one less for each opponent I have. Uh, and then I would like to attach the Lightning Greaves to Durnan. Durnan! Durnan! Um, I think, honestly, I think hanging back and blocking is going to be better than <laughs> leaving myself open again. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pass the turn. Nice. We'll get Untap. some chaos going later. Draw. All right, let's, I have a wizard. So I will cast tap one and, um... Trivia Encounters, thanks for the raid. What's going on, everybody? Sure, yeah, we, um... Let's tap one for Changeling Outcast. Um, it shares a type with my commander, so I will go ahead and draw a card off a of Folk Hero, if that's cool. Ah, uh, cheating. Cool. I can only do it once per turn. It's not cheating. Big cheat. How dare Don't worry. you? Uh, I'll go to combat, and I will... Uh, how big is Durnin? 3-3? Three, it's three? a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Um, I'll swing Barakos at you, Corey, and Perry's big. Perry's, Perry's a 3-3. Three, three. Yep. Not large, but large enough. Um, Mark, what does your board look like? I know yeah. Cauldron Familiar is like a 1-1. 1-1, 1-1, 2-2. 1-1, 1-1, 2-2. Okay, it doesn't look like my gnome is going to attack anybody. So I'll just go for Barakos. Actually... Since Perry has a shield counter, any damage that is dealt to the shield counter is enough to destroy it, correct? I wouldn't have to mm -hmm. destroy it. I'm pretty sure it's just any damage, yep. right? Cool. I'm yep. going to swing a 2-4 at you, Commander Guru. On uh, attacks, two... oh. you will lose three life, and I will create three treasure tokens. All right, so I'm just going to take the two, so I'll take five total. Correct. That's crazy. That's such a good... <laughs> Those These part uh, background commanders are so good. They're pretty fucking crazy, dude. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I have six mana, which is great. Um, I'll pass. I'm gonna hope I hit a land. It's not a land. Oof. Rough. Um, it is not a land. <laughs> yeah, this is what I was afraid would happen, so I'm just gonna pick three. One oh, uh, greedy keeps. Yeah, uh, it wasn't greedy. I just I haven't really been able to really test the deck so ah. nine bases I, is where yeah. I assumed it was the weak spot um, and it's showing um, <laughs> I'm, gonna play, I'm gonna play Ashnod's Altar um, and then before I move to my end step I'm gonna sack my rat and my cauldron familiar to it I'll have four colorless move to my end step they'll both come back everyone will take one I'll gain one Ouch. and then everyone will discard as well Oof. can't be doing this all the time 
take one, gain one, discard a card? Uh, everyone loses one, I gain one, and then everyone discards a card, but... Worse. Uh, I will discard... Ooh. Solemn Recruit? I'm gonna discard a Regrowth. Uh, Storm of Forms. And then after that, I'll pass. Okay, untap. Draw for turn. Hmm. Okay, I will play a Wall of Roots. And then... That's very interesting. I'm gonna have to take one of the counters off of here, one charge counter. And one from the Incubation Druid for two white. And I'll do, um, I'll cast Together Forever. Um, it has support too, so I'm going to put two 1 1 counters on two separate creatures. We're going to do the Incubation Druid and um, Parry. Uh, together Forever right. reads that I can pay one choose target creature with a counter on it. It doesn't even specify what kind of counter. Uh, when that creature dies this turn, return that creature to its owner's hand. Then we'll go to combat. I'm going to roll 10-sided again. Four and six are accounted for. And we have zero, so 10. That is a 1-1 one, one counter. Um, I will... S oh, yeah, it also has life. I think, but I don't have that one. Um, I will swing... Four on the ground at um, hmm, that's a good question. Who catches? Catches these hands. Catches the hands, right? Hands. Um, Shauna, what's your largest creature over there? You have a two-four. I have a 2-2 two, two, and a 1-1 one, one that can't attack or block. I'm sorry, can't block or be blocked. Ah. Mm. Can't say that. And um, what about over there? What's your name, Mook Dubs? Mark. Mark? Mark? Or that guy. Or that guy. Hey, that guy. Hey, that guy. Hey, Shire. Uh, so, 2-2, two, 1-1, two, one, 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 one. Uh, still, still the same. Yep. <clears throat> okay, we're going to swing at you, Mark, for four. Uh, what is it? Lifelink and what? Lifelink Hexproof. All right, I'll block with my cat. Perfect. Sounds like a wonderful decision. I will go to 40. Uh, and we will proceed to post combat and pass the turn. Uh, before that, I'll also sack my rat to Astronaut's Altar. Uh, then in your end step, I'll get my rat and my cat. You'll all take one, I'll gain one, and then you'll all discard a card. Okay. Ouch. Yep, I will discard. Discard Cal's Wand. Uh, Lucas a tick tock. <laughs> I, I said it, man. Shield Broker. Mage is attended. I am a smooth brain who is on TikTok and posts whatever dumb shit comes into my mind. Yay! I, I, I appreciate such kind words. Smooth oh, brains God. usually do. They they listen, it's there's not many shadows in this brain. <laughs> it's, it's, quite, <laughs> it's like a bowling ball. We will untap. We're going to draw Peaks, a valleys. Nah. Uh, the great plains of serenity. Alright. For I know you're hurting for mana, but I can't be discarding cards all the time. So yeah, it's really cool how you guys all have a uh, hands. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm going to pay one to uh, to battle display and destroy target artifacts. 
targeting the uh, astronaut. astronaut's altar. Ray, right, our hero. Be before uh, I guess it's destroyed, I'll do the thing and I'll still yep. zack the things to it and have four colorless floating. Yeah. Um, I'm then because I have to discard stuff anyway. So shit. What do I? How do I do this then? Uh, everything hurts. Um, here, let's do this. Let's go. I'm gonna go to combat. Uh, how big is Perry? Perry's a uh, four four right uh, now. Four four. Four four with a shield counter. That's a big old pile of shit. Spartacus, thanks so much for the sub. Two months in a row. I got fired from the ca the calendar factory. Oh, <laughs> funny. I got fired from the calendar factory because I took a day off. Oh, <laughs> for, for a split hey, second, Spartacus, hey. I was like, hey, oh. man, what's? I, I hope you're okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, this is a joke. All right. Let's go to combat and let's head over at Shauna for three. For three, you say? For three. And then when he attacks, gonna... he does a thing. I'm going to take three. All right. So when he attacks, I'm going to look at the top four cards of my library. And then exile a creature from among them, put the rest in the bottom of my library in any order, and I can cast it as long as it's exiled and it has Undaunted. So one, two, three, four. Well, there's only one creature, so I guess we're going to go with this Dire Fleet Daredevil. Well, since Spartacus started us off, can I tell you guys my favorite? There are two types of people joke. Sure. Okay, so there are two types of people. First person is uh, the type of people that can extrapolate from incomplete data. <laughs> I understand. That's a deep cut. That's pretty it's good. Gonna, listen, That's pretty I, good. I, I, I'm, I'm, you, I'm sure you guys can smell the wood burning, but I'm trying to figure it out. Don't make me feel bad. <laughs> listen, you said a lot of big words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard extrapolate and I did get a little scared, but then I used context clues and I yeah. believe you can do it too. We got there. <laughs> we got there. All right. I am going to pay a ra oh, Actually, what are people, what are instances and sorceries in graveyards? What do we got? Zero. Uh, I have a bubbling exist. muck, which I don't think would help you. Out. No. Um, and Broker's Confluence and Storm of Forms. What is a Broker's Confluence do? Ah, Broker's Confluence. Yeah, why don't you look at that? It's got a lot of words on it. So, proliferate, target creature phases out, counter target activated or triggered ability. None of those things help me in any way whatsoever. Uh -huh. So, we're not going to cast Dire Fleet Daredevil from Exile. We'll just leave it oh, off shit. to the side for now. Uh, instead, Let's just pay two, and I'm gonna bring out the Embrith Shieldbreaker from its adventure. Uh, so since I cast that from exile, I can deal two damage to any opponent. Uh, Mark, you're at 43, we'll deal two to you. Yeah, that's fair. And then that is going What was it, it was two? Uh, just two, yep. Okay. Uh, and that's gonna be all I do. All right, uh, as you go to end step, I get Rat and cat. So everyone will take one, I'll gain one, and then you all start a card. Cool. Tazarin's Gambit. Boom, boom, boom. Um, Grim Harrispex. I did Return of the Wild Speaker. Nice. Hey, it's Faded MTG. Thanks for the chat. follow. Hi, friend. Did you say pass, Corey? Oh, God. Yes. Yes, it did. Sorry. Nice. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Uh, run the jewels. You go to the show. Um. They're on tour right now with Rage Against the Machine. There's a Canadian leg tour coming up soon. Boston Brothers going. Yeah, if it's near Boston or Providence, uh -oh. I will go. Go ahead and. If it's not, then I can't. Hey, one. Also, depends on what it is. I'm going to be in Ireland for two weeks. For Mother of Rules. Um. I'll go ahead and trigger Folk Hero and draw a card. Mother of Runes. Pretty cool. Um, and then... It's not a Mother of Runes. I think I will also... Tap four. Sacking a treasure. Going down to three treasures? Two treasures. 
Um, and I will also cast Grim Hireling. Because that's a good card. And then I will go to combat. I think I'm going to send Brockos over at... You still don't have anything with more than four power, correct? Correct. Okay, Barakos is going at you, Tori. Um, changing that changeling outcast is going to go over at um, Commander Guru because you have a shield counter; it can't be blocked. And the Deep Gnome Commander is going to go at Mook Dubs. Uh, and then I have an attack trigger um, on attack. You will, Corey, you will lose five life, I believe, because I have this, 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 this. Yes, you'll lose five life, and I will create five treasures. Uh, and then it's a two. I'm going to just block with my, <laughs> with my, my Amberth was not meant for this world anyway. Sounds so, good. What, be, what was the uh, unblockable thing you were talking about? It with? is a one one. Oh, one, wow. One. I'll be blocking with a uh, rat. Nice. Is it uh, big enough to kill my guy? Uh, it's a one one. Okay, so that's a no. Fantastic. Um, so I will so no. get a trigger off of Grim Hireling, and I will make two treasures because the change the outcast did damage to you, like a good boy. And then I will um, think. Um, Yeah, I'll use two treasures. Going down to going from nine to seven. And I will cast Ward the Grave, which costs one less for each creature in my party, which is five, so I paid two black for it. And I will return target creature card and up to one cleric, rogue, warrior, or wizard from my graveyard. So I will choose a target creature card, which is solemn recruit yeah. and i will also choose one target cleric rogue warrior or wizard which just counts for both of them so i think i will hmm. do i want a one one <laughs> that can counter stuff or do i want this guy i think i choose this guy grim hair specs which uh has more if that doesn't matter, but whenever it tar another non-token creature you control dies, draw a card. Um, I have an ETB trigger. I'm sorry, I have an end step trigger when I do go to end step on Solemn Recruit that says if a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, which it has, um, I will put a 1 1 counter on Solemn Recruit. Because a treasure has left the battlefield this well, turn. Well, dang. Because that's busted as fuck. Okay, <laughs> and then I will go ahead and pass the turn. Uh, I will get my rat back. You will all discard a card. Son of a bitch. No cards in hand. I discard uh, my eternal witness, which was my ace in the hole for all these goddamn cards I'm discarding. My rat is doing the thing. Um, I will discard... Chris, you shut your um, mouth. Get out of here with that, that nonsense in my chat. Can I actually respond to the... The cat comes back because it end step it triggers or something like uh, that? The rat, so uh, whenever a creature of power one or less is put in the graveyard, uh, I may return it to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. So If it's still in the battlefield. Here. So can I, can I respond to that trigger by killing it? So, so it comes back from blocking when it died. Comes back, enters, everyone discards, so then you'd have to kill it. Okay, kill it. Mm, yeah, I'll go ahead. Shira is a 2-2 two -two and the cat's a 1-1. One -one. Uh, so wait, uh, we're before, are we? Yeah, where, so I'm Shira trigger, um, yep. at the beginning of the next end step, Shira says to bring the cat back. So in uh, response yep. to that, I will sacrifice two treasures and pay a black to kill Shira. So before so I get, down. before I get rat or after? The cat will come back, it's with the trigger on the stack. Okay. Yeah, so yeah the, the cat will still come back. Yeah, okay. And then well, will it still come back? Because if the trigger only resolves if it's still on the battlefield. No, so the as you go to your end step, it already triggered. Yeah, the you trigger's on the, the trigger's on the stack, so you can kill the creature. Yeah. I mean, you could do all this before the trigger goes on, but 
I could, but I, I, um, I fucked up. I, from okay. seven, I'm going, losing three, so I'm going to four. Um, yeah. But I the cat can stay, but Shiri must die. But Shiri I've must die, yes. But I will still Shiri discard, I will discard, um, a regular cohort. Good thing, I draw. Oh, Chris, are you, still, are you still in chat? Dude, look at this, this is so cool, man. Hi, Chris. I'm so, I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, man, we're not doing so hot here, so I'm gonna viscerous here. Oh, um, Oops. and I'm gonna. In response to the viscerous oh. here, I'm gonna kill oh, the cat. Yeah, oh, my, uh, the cat or the rat? Ah, uh, both. They're both one ones, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna kill both. I'll wow. Zero treasures to kill. Both. Wow. Yeah, what's killing Absolutely them? brutal. What's what's killing them? Uh, Grim Hireling. I can pay a black oh, and sacrifice yeah. X treasures. Our creature gets minus X minus X. Oh no! All right, so you're killing both of them. Yep. Okay. Amazing. That's fair. Uh, Mister Seer, uh, I have nothing to <laughs> oh, sack. No. Actually, uh, oh, you can still just keep getting rid of my stuff. <laughs> um. Shit. All right. Well, I guess that's all I got. <laughs> all right. Cool. Um. Untap. Listen, I did the thing for like a little bit. That's it was, I mean, my hand's empty, so. Yeah, I have one card. Yeah, I got nothing. I, my <laughs> two things scary. that I was going to try to pull stuff back with, I've discarded, so. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah. Here we Draw, are. Draw, Ooh, that's kind of neat. Um, I mean, sort of. We're going to pay three or tap for three from Incubation Druid, uh, cast a Command Sphere. Um, I'm going to sack it immediately to draw another card. Nice. And then I will put an 01 counter on Wall of Roots to add a green mana. Um, and blue for Gavel of the Righteous. Um, at the beginning of combat on my turn, put in a charge counter on Gavel of the Righteous. Um, it get equipped creature gets plus one plus one for each counter on Gavel of the Righteous. As long as Gavel of the Righteous has four or more counters on it, equipped creature has double strike. Yeah, and equip is three or remove a counter. Um, I'm going to. Do I have three here? Yeah, we do. One, two, three. I'm going to equip it to the Crystalline Giant. You got it. Um, we'll just put it right next to it. You know what's attached to it. We'll go to combat, and I'll roll the 10-sided. And 4, 6, and 10 are accounted for. That's 10. Hey, um, <laughs> Mook, yeah. I can only activate this as a sorcery. I just read this. Uh, can you put your two things back on the field? <laughs> yes. And then do whatever you wanted to do with Visitors here? Uh, I was I honestly it. just going to yeah. sack the cat to scry one. You got right it. There. I'm so sorry. It was it really it wasn't anything you could have not said it, I would have not have done anything crazy. Nice. Um I rolled the one so that gives the crystalline giant uh flying. Uh and then we'll attack Oh and also the gavel of the righteous gets a charge counter. That crystalline giant's gonna not be great. Be a problem. Oh yeah, it's quite bad. Um, so it is now a five-five. Thank you. Actually, it gets plus. Oh, for each. I was gonna say on the creature. I thought it was plus one for each counter on the creature. I was like, oh no, no, for each <laughs> counter on uh, Gavel of the Righteous. So yeah, it's a five-five. Uh, that is gonna be swinging over at Mark in the air. Yep. How much? Uh, five. And Perry is going to... Actually, I shouldn't swing Perry because it's all it takes is a single block. And that's... Do you have any creatures out, actually, um, Corey? Uh, I'm open. I have one creature out. He's tapped. John's board state's kind of ridiculous right now. Yeah. Just the way I like it. So, you know, you just... I, I, just... I'm threatening too. Let me... Just let me live. <laughs> let me, let yeah, me I'm going to leave... Back. I'm going to leave what I have open... Open. Worked. And I will pass the turn. All right. Let's go ahead and untap. I will draw for turn. Hey, that's a thing. 
Uh, all right, let's. Oh shit! I should be. So silly. Oh yeah, I gotta get you five. Damn, attacking right now would not be the best, right? I should be swinging with Perry. Because his second thing is Chef's Kiss. Alright, I'm going to tap five. And I'm going to cast a Luca Copper Coat Outcast. Oof. Um, I don't even know what the other two abilities do. Uh, okay. so plus one, uh, exile the top card of your top three cards of your library. Uh, creature cards exiled this way gain. You may cast this card from exile as long as I control a Luca Planeswalker. Uh, and then I can exile target creature I control, then reveal cards from the top of my library. It doesn't matter. I'm never gonna do that. Luca's uh, so dope. <laughs> uh, that ability is all that really matters. So, yeah, we're going to plus. Oh, he's already. He starts at five? Jeez. We're going to plus him to six. Yikes. So we wow. will exile the top three cards in my library, and then I can cast creatures uh, from exile as long as I control Luca. So we got a Sakura Tribe Elder, a Suicum Recluse, and a Mountain. I'm gonna put these like this because I can technically do both of them. Uh, but I do not have any more mana to spend, so I'm going to just pass the turn. Nice. Uh, untap. Good lord. No effects on upkeep and draw. I will play planes for turn and I will tap three. God. Uh, tap three, cast Order of White Clay. If I pay three, one white white, and untap him, I can return target feature card with mana value three or less from my graveyard to the battlefield. Um, so on cast, oh. I have Hulk here, Sugar, so I'll draw a card. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, yeah. Um, What's that card again? This one? Yeah. Uh, if I pay three and untap him, I can return a target creature card with CMC three or less from cool. among them. Or oh. from the gate guard to my battle. So stupid. That's pretty crazy. Uh, the only target I have right now is Mage's Attendant, but it's a very good target, so good stuff. Um, so good stuff. All I have is this super awesome target. Yeah, it's not all, yeah, I, have all I have is a great target. target. Yeah. All, all I have is like the best thing, thing I could have possibly want. <laughs> oh, the yeah. best thing ever. Um, <laughs> we, let's see. I will go to combat. Subterfuge. I will swing the 2-2 two -two Gnome Terramancer at Mook. Uh, the Changeling is going at Commander Guru. Morakos is going at... Um, do you have anything with four power or more? Uh, me? No, I, I just have a 3-3 three, three still. Fantastic. That's coming at you, too. Okay. Um, and then Solemn Recruit has double strike. And it's a 3-3. Three, three, so I'll send that at Corey, because you have a 3-3 three, three as well. Yeah. Um, the dire, the Grim Hireling will go at Mook as well. And the Grim Hire Specs will go at Mook. Or, I'm sorry, we'll go at Cory. So this pile is going at Cory, this pile is going at Mook, and oh. this pile is going at uh, Commander Gruber. Is Commander that, uh, is that uh, unblockable? Uh, this is unblockable, this one one. Oh, so what's the one that's coming at me? What's the power? Yes, sorry, this the... guy is 2-2. Two, 2-2? Two. Two, um, two? Oh. Yes. Wait, so I'm, what am I taking? I'm going to block Wait. with an 4 yeah. This pile is going at um, That's me. This pile is going at Commander Guru. This pile is going at Mook. Gotcha. And this pile is going at Corey. Gotcha. <laughs> Are you sorry. sending at me or is there anything going at uh, Luca? Uh, it's all at you. Okay. I'm pretty un unintimidated by Luca at the moment. Oh, okay. So that changes. Oof. So one of them is unblockable. What's the other one's power? This one's a 2 4. 2 4. I'll block. I have a wall of roots. So I'll take. Those kind of bounce uh, off I do have other. an attack trigger. Um, you'll lose five life, and I'll gain. I'll gain five treasures. So I'm going to nine treasures. Is that just that just happens? It just happens on attacks. Yep. Amazing. That's so good. Um, and then yeah, what's coming treasures. at me? So I have a grim horror specs. So five. I lose it's a six. three two, three two with no effects. Three two and a three three, three with double strike. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Okay, I see you. No big deal. No big deal. 
Uh, well, I'm gonna block the. I'll block the three three double strike. Fantastic. And then I'll just take and... six. Okay. If you block the three three double strike, I'm pretty sure Darnan just dies because first strike, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Yours is fine, Darnan. Darnan. Nice. Darnan's he's awesome. super dead. He's super dead. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Your guy super dies. My guy super. I'm just that kind of fucked, I guess. <laughs> He doesn't um, even get like a showcase death. No. They kill him off screen. <laughs> Durant's like, yeah, yeah off, today's literally great. off screen with no explanation. Today's great. Nothing okay. can ruin this day. Hey, what's that train? Bah. And then if I'm not mistaken, oh, Corey, all of you guys were dealt damage, so I will gain six treasures if that's cool. I mean, it's not, but it's, it's not. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. I'll go up to 15. Oh, and, there's not much I can do about it here. Um, I'm going to activate Grim Hireling to. I'll pay a black here and sacrifice a treasure, go to 14, to deal one damage to parry. That gets rid of the shield counter, correct? Uh-huh. Should, and then, right? Yeah. And then parry is a 3-3? Three, three, uh, four, 4 4 4 4 4 Yeah, I'll go ahead and pay another black, sack four treasures to kill parry. Good at 10. Parry. And then your um, crystalline giant is 5-5 five, five now? It is hexproof. It's got hex proof. Fuck. <laughs> That gets around my whole plan. Um, <laughs> uh, incubation in Druid is how big? It's a... Uh, it's just a 1-3. One, 1-3? Three. One, three? Okay, I will sack 4 treasures to kill it. Okay. And go to 6 treasures. And then... How big is your wall of roots? Oh, four. <laughs> wiping out Rob's board um, completely. Yeah, I'll sack five treasures to kill it. Um, actually, you know what? <sighs> yeah, I, I fucked up. I missed a. I missed a. Oh man. I missed something I could have done. It's okay. I'm still. I'm fine with it if you do it. I don't give a shit. No, no, no. It's okay. it's totally There's fine. It doesn't really everything. it doesn't really change much, but it's okay. I, I'm at one treasure. I'm making note of it so that I can not do it again, type of thing. Nice. Uh, I am <laughs> passing the turn. I could have activated together forever for any oh, one of those creatures. Oh, that Luckily, well, oh. knew it was right there. Sure. Uh, and then to help everybody, maybe, I'm going to try to hear his downfall, the Grim Hireling. Oh, yeah, it works too. That just um, destroys it? Target creature or planeswalker. Okay, I will tap Mother Rooms to give Grim Hireling. Oh, I fucking forgot about oh, Mom. Oh, God. Oh, Mom. Mom, no. There's just right. so much over there. How are you supposed to see I'm it? I'm sorry. You know? yeah. um, the Solemn has a trigger on my end, so by the way, it gets put the tower there. Good, I forgot bad. about Mom. Um, all right, well. What a board state. So yeah. many uh, things. Uh, I'm just Recounts are fun. Back, rat to Fist Seer and Scry. Need a board wipe. Uh, that's what we I'll need. Bottom net. No pass. What is happening? Oh, mom, how did I forget about mom? I love that card. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so sweet, with her little cup of tea. <laughs> I like to think has like a little bit of whiskey. Yeah, oh yeah, 100%. like a lot of it. Yeah, hundred percent. We're gonna draw for turn. Um. Okay. I will go to combat. Uh, one, four, six, and ten have been taken. So seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now has reach. That's fun. And we get another charge counter on the gavel. So that's just there. And I'm going to swing the Crystalline Giant. Um, who do we have here? 34 and 35. Uh, yeah, we'll swing um, for six in the air at you, Shauna. You got it. Can you give me a rundown of what both those cards do real quick? Sure, absolutely. Uh, Crystalline Giant, at the beginning of combat on my turn, choose a kind of counter at random that the Giant doesn't have on it from among Flying, First Strike, Death Touch, Hexproof, Lifelink, Menace, Reach, Trample, Vigilance, and plus one, plus one. 
and then put a counter of that kind on crystalline giant and the gavel says at the beginning of combat on my turn put a charge counter on it and it gets plus one plus one whatever the equipped creature is get plus one plus one for each charge counter on the gavel or each okay, so counter on it tons of tons of plus ones okay so how much yeah. am i taking you are taking six fantastic yeah and i'm gaining six And the screen is tapped. Pretty good. Um, we will proceed to post combat. Lose the last counter for white, blue, and green. And we'll cast a Janara, a Sura of War. You do. And. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'll pass the turn. Oh boy. All right. Untap. Mm, yeah. Draw. Shit. Play okay, forest. So... Why is Crystalline Giant a ma physical magic card? I don't know. Yeah, no shit, right? It's like impossible <laughs> to keep track of, really. Digital card, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the best play here is. All right, I'm gonna plus one Luca again. So is that pile in, under your left hand of the cards that have been exiled with yeah, Luca? Yeah. So I have. Uh, well, this, okay. these three were Luca. This one was with Durnan. Okay. Um. So from Luca, I have a mountain, a sweet gum recluse, and a Sakura Tribelder. Uh, and I'm okay. about to get a, another mountain, a forest. And a Mizio Mugger. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. I think we're just going to grab. I mean, we probably make the same attacks, if not slightly skewed. Actually, no, I think I gotta do it. Alright, I'm gonna recast Dernan while you don't have enough treasures to immediately kill him. <gasps> and can't then... even kill him at instant speed. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, you can't do it. I know. That's horrible. I mean, still. Alright, we're gonna put the Lightning Greaves on Dernan. Nice. <laughs> Just give him a little bit of protection. Nice. And okay. then, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna... I think that's all I can do. Nice. Untap. Oh, man. Yes, oh man, indeed. This is happening. Untap, 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 untap. Upkeep, drop. What is this? That's what I've been saying all game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, what is this? Okay, well, I'm gonna do this, I guess. I'll tap two. I'll cast Valiant Changeling. Oh. Costs five less because of my creature types. Jesus. Folk hero, folk hero trigger, so I will draw a card. Um, fantastic. I will. Uh, it's just a three three with double strike. That's all. Oh, that's all. Uh, that's all. <laughs> that's all. Nothing and then, crazy. Yeah. I it's... have nothing with flying because the crystal and giant definitely has flying for sure, right? For sure. Does and he all, does he have all of his uh, abilities? No, we are still five off. What? Yeah, there oh are five God. more that I can <laughs> that we can ridiculous. randomly. Draw. Um. Okay. So I don't have fly. That's not great. I wish I did. Um. Okay. I will just go to combat. I think. I'll go ahead and send. Um. This angel is a three-three. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, Brakos. Um. Order. Mm, that. The four-four double strike solemn recruit. Um. So Brakos and the four-four double strike. Um, is coming at you, Commander Groover. Um, Order of the White Clay. And, uh, 
Super whack. And so. Grim Hireling are going to come at you, Mook, and the Grim Harrispects. It's a 3 2. Maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I got nothing left to lose. I'll kill it. <laughs> I'll kill it. <laughs> I think you want to lose turn into this thing. Super, super whack. Yeah, I'll go ahead and send the Grim Harrispects at you, uh, Corey. Yeah, that was a good play. I'm going to take it. Fantastic. On attacks, uh, Commander Guru, you're going to lose five, and I'll gain five treasures. Oh, God. I hate it. <laughs> How much am I taking there? I can't see it. Uh, so this is four double strike, and it's a two four. But I'm on uh, the Grim Harrowing and the thing behind me. Oops. You guys all sound the same to me. <laughs> Sorry. I'll start talking with a silly little X or something. <laughs> That's right. There you, go. Okay. Uh, you are taking uh, four total if you don't block. And what's the total of the? Uh, this is four eight because it's a four double strike, so it's a total oh. of ten. Ouch! Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. And then um, post combat or on damage, I will gain six treasures since you guys all take damage. Go back up to eleven. Wow. And um. I gotta get rid of this fucking boots so I can kill Darn it. <laughs> um Don't worry about the boots. <laughs> I'm worried about the boots. It's gonna come back and bite me, I can tell. Um You're doing fine. I'll have plenty of other things for you to kill with your treasures later. Fantastic. Um uh, <laughs> I This is actually this is a really cool <laughs> I wanna build this these two this is really like, fun yeah this, i'm having lots of fun i'm gonna tap a swamp and i'm going to sacrifice three treasures to kill janara go to eight yikes dude um why do and you, do? you just have a bunch of stuff that's why not do you, well, like, why, do you, why do you hate me um and i can't attack planeswalkers with this thing let me just look up Luca to make sure I don't just get one shot by some crazy ultimate ability. Luca. No, no, don't worry. You're you're gonna be fine. Okay. okay. Yeah, each creature each control creature deals damage control equal, equal to its power to each okay. opponent. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, you can probably more something and you can exile stuff. Okay. Yeah. I feel like My, the main thing I want to do with him is his his plus one ability. The first, but yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, I will go to end step. I have a trigger on. Solemn, he gets a counter because permanent has left the battlefield. And I will pass the check. What's that? How can we draw something? Where was all these when I needed them before? By uh, Takaduba Abandoned Mire. Hell yeah. <sighs> We're struggling out here in the streets. Um, let's go. T2 for an Elder Fang Disciple. Uh, as long as it enters the battlefield, everyone will discard a card. I have zero cards. Elder Fang a Disciple. I am cool with discarding a card. I'll discard this soul ring. No cards in hand. Bam. Same. Uh, I'll then keep three for nutrition. Uh, black sack creature destroy target non black creature. Nutrition. I'll be passing if that resolves. That'll be it. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I got nothing. That sounds like all I can do to me. We ain't doing too much. Get rid of that mother of runes. I would love to. Can she Just protect herself? Away. Probably, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, Turns out all right. she's pretty good. What's the other one? Oh, oh, Giver of Runes is the one that can't protect yes. themselves. Got it. Draw for turn. Got it. I made such an innocent looking card so fucking mean. Right? <laughs> okay. Um, well, I guess. I'm going to proceed to combat. You got it. And at the beginning, I will put a counter on Gavel. And we will roll for the Crystalline. Um, Yeah, so there's a whole bunch that are off limits, but eight is not one of them. That one is trample. Uh, 
Um... Oh, I forgot. I have a cardboard cutout of myself behind me. That's weird. <laughs> that's weird. I just I'm looking at my little my little uh, display thing. I'm like, wait a minute, who's that? Oh, that's me. Oh, <laughs> Um, I'm going to exit combat without attacking. Well. Wow. I mean, I guess, yeah. I think we all need blockers yeah, at this point. I'm going to tap three and cast, um, Park Heights Maverick. Has dethrone, has dethrone, um... And it can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. And when it deals combat damage to a player or dies, I get to proliferate. Be bad. It's going to get so many different counters to the crystalline giant. Yes. Double two flying, flying counters? Two yes. hexproof counters? Now, they won't actually do anything, but they will count as counters on the card if it does matter. And it does matter It'll for some cards in the deck. The hammer thing bigger. <laughs> What's the equipment on it? Uh, the hammer, it is called uh, Gavel of the Righteous. Gavel of the Righteous. It has three I counters. I know how it's called Gavel, that's great. It's not with an I, apparently. Gavel <laughs> of the Righteous. That cares about counters, right? Uh, if it has four on it, then the creature that it enchants, or that it is equipped to, gets a uh, double strike. Yeah, you got it. Cool, cool, cool. And with uh, Park Heights on the field, I will pass a turn. All right. Let's see if I can finally do something this turn. We're going to untap. Hey. We're going to draw. Hey, this is a thing. We're going to hold on to that. Uh, we are going to pay six again. Actually, I should probably attack first and see if I get anything good. But where can I attack? What can I attack? I don't want to... There's a lot of skill. What's what's what do we got for powers and toughnesses over over there, Sean? What are we looking at? Here? Yeah. I have this gnome, that's a two two. I yep. have this one one that can't block. I have this three three with double strike. I have this one one with nothing. Okay. And that's it. So we're not gonna attack anybody. Just okay. kidding. <laughs> we're gonna pay six. And I'm going to cast this sweet gum recluse. I know it has flash, but we're just gonna do it now. Uh, it's got cascade as well. So flash, cascade, and reach. And then when it enters the battlefield, put three 1-1 one, one counters on it. Or, excuse me, put three plus one plus one counters on each of any number of target creatures that enter the battlefield this turn. So, we're going to Cascade first. So what the fuck? Yeah, that's a weird card, man. Me with... <laughs> what the fuck is... <laughs> that card is weird as shit. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of these lands and exile them, because I can't do anything with them, so they're going to go over here. Uh, At least it gives itself three counters. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for sure. So we're going to reveal cards on top of my library until I reveal a uh, five mana card. Oh, that's cool because if he gets something off his cascade, he also gives that the counters. Three one one yeah. counters. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's kind of sick. That's ten. And jeez, big and hitters. Right. Five. So we have a Carlac Fury uh, or Fervent Averns. Avernus. Cool. This okay. one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> allow me to allow me to read these. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. whenever you attack, if it's the first combat phase of the turn, untap all attacking creatures. They gain first strike till end of turn. After this phase, there's an additional combat phase. Oh yeah, amazing. It's basically for double triggers for uh, Dernan. Pretty good. Uh, and then we're going to put three counters just straight up on the recluse. And not on the dude. No, I mean it's a five four. So, so I mean, why I guess, it, but why know, not? Yeah. So not why not make it an eight seven? Yeah. I mean, this has There's no reach. reason. This has There's no reason not. I mean, no, but I'm you not, can do it on yeah. both. Oh, I can you do can it on do both. both. You're right. Yeah. For sure. Oh my god, for I know sure. how to. Oh, I, know I was gonna to say, read. I'm not gonna argue with you, man. Like for sure. I right. know how to read oh, yeah. words. Okay. Yeah. You're right. And, I mean, you did, you did, you did enough already, right? For sure. <laughs> yeah, you can stop. You don't have to. Do anything. <laughs> you know? Put three one counters on each of any. No okay. Cool. Each of any that number. Amazing? That's a really good. Like I like that. It's like a mini, very slow crater hoof. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> So, I could have one of these yeah. attack. I love it. Huh. Huh. That with, like, Avenger of Zendikar would be fun. Yeah. All right, Do you, well. um, what's this, <coughs> um, 
passionate archaeologist. Don't you get oh, stuff? Oh, I do. You're like right. Yeah, someone deals. Someone gets five damage done. Oh fuck! Uh, I should have said that. <laughs> um. Yikes. Wait, you cast them both for my cell, right? No, so sweet, sweet do... gum. Oh, I did. <laughs> Wait, did my... you? I should just shut the fuck up. My yeah, life, man. He did. He did. All right, yeah. So I'm, I'm getting six, uh, six damage from the rec uh, recluse, and then five from the, the Carlac. So we will do, we'll deal the six to Shauna. Got it. And I'll deal the five to Mark. That's what you get for, for reminding him. I, I mean, I, my plan was to... <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, thanks for the... That's right. My plan I fully was to... I to take it to 11 right there, so yeah. this is fine. My plan I was to get Shauna really with the sweet gum anyway. <laughs> Which sa that sounds like a weird phrase to say, so I'm not going to say that again. I'm going to get someone with that sweet gum. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to plus one, Luca. Let's uh, exile the top three. Uh, we have a Whisper Silk Cloak, uh, Mirror Landscape, and then a Morag, so that one will go over there. Oh. These are just exiled. And then Do these have a time limit on when you can cast them? I can cast them as long as I own a Luca Planeswalker. Interesting. And then Damn. the ones from Durnan, I can cast any time there. As long as they're in exile, I can cast them. Cool. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm all, I'm all done. Finally have some not a lot of Not a lot of artifacts removal. In, in black white or sub no oh. okay uh untap oh wait you didn't did you not want to attack i did not attack no okay fine. Nope, i decided untap. not to i didn't want to take that choice yeah. <laughs> uh untap up keep draw that's not great it's not great uh i'll just keep it to discard <laughs> why not uh Uh -huh. Shit, I was supposed to return mages to ten minute your next step, but I totally forgot. I suck. I'm going to um So much. See, we're all combat. forgetting things. It's totally cool. Yeah. I'm gonna go to combat and I'm going to swing Rakos at Maybe I should kill some stuff first? No. Um, it'll be fine. Crystal and Giant is huge, and I'm not used to that being untapped. That sucks. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and... How big is Crystal and Giant exactly? Is something... 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, great. 7-7, nice. seven, seven, Flying Reach, Trample, Lifelink, Hexproof. Everything. Yep. Yeah. Everything except for Death Touch, sounds like. So far. Great. And... and uh, <laughs> No, yeah, Death Touch, First Strike, or Menace, and Vigilance. Needs those ones. Okay, yes. okay. so I think the... <laughs> um, Jesus. <laughs> How big is this uh, Disciple, Mark? One one? A one, right? a one, right. one. Right. There's a lot of there's a lot of one ones at this deck. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the order order of white play your way, and I will also throw Barakos your way, Mark. You can and... throw it all at me. I'm I'm hoping to speed it up until squeeze like a, a fast game in. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and do. Um. The Changeling Outcast at you, Corey. Right. Yeah, I yeah. think that seems great. And That's then, the unblockable one, right? Yeah. So and I'm taking three, right? Like, you're taking three. You got it. Uh, actually, on attack, you're going to take another five. That's fair. Uh, and then you have a seven-seven with everything in the world, and also uh, a something park. A two-two. Yeah, a 2-2 two, 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 that when it dies, I proliferate. Um, oh. Shannibal, hello, what's up? How you doing? Um. Yeah, if I swing this guy at you, they'll trade. So let's swing this guy at you. 
It's a six, five, I'm sorry, it's a five, five double strike. It doesn't have an indestructible, right? What, this thing? Yeah. Oh, no, no, definitely not. No, the big, the crystalline giant. Oh, crystalline no, giant? Yeah, no, definitely not. Fantastic. It'll be a five, five double strike at you then. Uh, in the air or? Uh, no, no abilities, just double strike. Perfect. I'm just going to block with the Park Heights Maverick. You got it. So when it dies, I will proliferate. Cool, cool, cool. Two, four. Two, one, one counters. And then each one of these has another one. Very cool. We won't forget. Uh, so on attacks, I'll make five treasures. I'll go to 13. And then um on attacks as well or on combat damage i'll make four more treasures since i only dealt damage to two of you i'm going to 17. Um, so many oh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pay a black and sacrifice six treasures to kill your sweet gum recluse that hurts 11. and then i'll tap um another black and sacrifice seven treasures to go to four to kill your car. Oh, yeah, and, uh, yeah. That is rugged. I think that'll do it. Um, go to end step. I'll get another counter on Solemn Recruit. And I will pass the turn. This is the turn that I do something. This is the one. It's I believe it. I believe it. Hell yeah. I wish I, I had him earlier. Uh, let's go. Math. Yeah. Look. Gonna tap out. Then let's go, Sir Conrad. Sir Conrad. Sir Conrad, be level. Uh, and then I'm gonna stack Elder Fang to Fist Rips here. Nah. Nah. I'm not. Ah, yeah, yeah. To Fist Rips here. Scry one, Sir Conrad trigger. I'll deal one to everybody. Um, okay. 27. 21. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass, having dealt one damage. <laughs> Very cool. Hey, we a total of three. Yeah. Total total three that's, damage. Yeah, you know what? That's right. Thank you. Um, You're welcome. Makes me feel much better about my situation. Draw. Uh, uh, trivial Encounters, if you want to see this list, just look up Party Time Precon list, <laughs> because say. it is the Precon. It's what it is. It's just Literally not change. This Precon's fucking broken. Pretty good. That go it's gotta be expensive now to get, right? The, I think we valued it at, like, 120-something, but it's going for, like, 60, I think. I think crazy. Um, okay, so... I played Sky Shroud Expanse, Sky Shroud Expanse, <clears throat> excuse me, and we're going to go to combat, put another counter on this, the gavel, and roll for one of the remaining abilities. Two, so that is first strike. But it has double strike already from the gavel. Um, a lot of life. Oh, so you could have blocked my guy and been fine because it had double strike the whole time. That's awkward. Oh, that is awkward. You know, you know, because <laughs> they would do first strike damage to each other. Mine would die. Yours wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. This is great. It's great stuff. Well, that's fun, but that's all right. Very fun. We're out here. But you got um, the pro pro here doing trigger, the thing. So that's good too. Yeah. Oh yeah, all these are doubled. And this guy is not. <laughs> um I wish that that was vigilance. Pass the turn. Alright. Well, now all my stuff's just dead. Uh, we will draw. We can just card. cast more stuff. I can. That Mother of Runes, though, is really hurting one of my plans here. Um, That's the point. What do we <laughs> have for instance and sorceries again? 
I oh, have so Thwart the Grave, which means you can get any creature you want with another, in addition, Cleric, Rogue, Warrior, or Wizard. I get any creature Maybe. I want plus one of those ones. It's from your graveyard to the battlefield. It's six mana. Uh, I have a Bubbling Muck that'll double all your swamps. Yeah, it's still doesn't It's pretty good. And then, and then uh, the new one in here is Tezzeret's Gambit. And that one just lets me draw a card, right, and proliferate. And proliferate, yeah. Draw two cards and proliferate. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right, we're going to plus Luca again. Go to nine. Let's look at the top. Or exile the top three. We've got a land. Battle Mammoth and another land. So Battle Mammoth will go over there. Huh, that's not bad. Alright, let's tap five. We're going to cast Battle Mammoth from Exile. Uh, I will deal five uh, over to you, Shauna. Because I'm remembering. I remember. So whenever a per it's a 6-5 trample, uh, whenever a permanent you control becomes the target of a spell or ability and opponent controls, I can draw a card. Seems good. <laughs> Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, okay, let's have like this instead, and then that way I can. Uh, it's just gonna probably die, but we'll pay red for a Ragavan. Hey. Oh. You love that late game, right? Little Hello. monkey. Hello. Help me. Uh, alright. Let's move. It's probably not smart. Let's move the Greaves over to the monkey. Common damage to a player. I can't get through to anybody. You can get through to me. <laughs> You're like, I'm not gonna block it. It's all right. Uh, all right, all right. I'll go to combat. We'll swing Ragavan at Mark. Yeah, that's for one. Uh, for Which, two. Uh, two one. Yeah, two one. Yep. And then when it deals common damage to a player, create a treasure, and then exile the top card of that player's library. Till end of turn, I can cast that card. Oh shit, I actually need that. Sorry. <laughs> Forgot about that part. Uh, it's going to be a serrated scorpion. Oh, alright. You said uh, six oh, out, right? I, get, uh, it's, I can play it, yeah, and I get a treasure. So I will use my one treasure for a black. Uh, and I will play the scorpion, which will deal one damage. Uh, I mean, I'm going to do, I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to hit Rob for one. Because once, uh, if we end up taking out Shauna, then we have to worry about that crystalline giant. Um, but when this uh, the scorpion comes in, deals two damage to each opponent, and I gain two life. Ow. How much to everybody? Two? Uh, yeah. I'm going to go up two. two. Hop, hop. Okay. I didn't need that scorpion. <laughs> uh, I'm then going to move my boots back to Dernan. And then uh, we'll pass the turn. Okay, at your end step, I will remember, I will tap three white, untap the order of white clay to return Mage's Attendant from my graveyard to the battlefield. Um, on EPB, Mage's Pretty Attendant good. is going to uh, create this little thing. So one, one blue wizard. And I can sack it and counter something unless you pay one mana. It's very crazy good. Love it. Or anything? Extremely crazy good. Okay, untap. Wait, it can counter any spell? Non creature. Oh, non creature, okay. Unless you pay one. Yeah, untap, untap, untap. Uh, draw. <laughs> I will play a tapped mirrored landscape as my land for trick. And to go to combat. I'm going to swing the um Yeah, why not? I'll tap three one, two, three. I'll cast unbreakable formation in my main phase. And um my creatures get indestructible until until end of turn. 
and I put a 1-1 one, one on each of my creatures and they get Vigilance until end of turn. Mm -hmm. Ouch. So Not they have Indestructible bad. Vigilance and they all get 1-1s, one, which is going to be a pain in the ass track, but I've done this to myself. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. And then I'm going to go to combat as soon as I get a bitch jump dice. Got some dice. 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 Oh god, dice. This is up to five. Dice. 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 This is why I don't play cash hole. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a nightmare. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Dice. Mars over there like, I'm not playing the game, so... I'm having up. a great time, I'll have you know. Uh, <laughs> dice? Dice. As Mark's like, I'm never Dice. coming back on this fucking show. Oh, bullshit. I'd be right back. You asked me to play tomorrow, I'd say yes, if I hadn't didn't have something to do. <laughs> um, okay. Oop, I forgot the Grim Hireling. How could I? Deck not doing its thing is not nice. Okay. Yeah. indication that I'm not having fun. So, uh, how big is Crystal and Giant? Uh, too big. Uh, it's a 10-10. There's no five such thing nine. as too big. Yeah, 10-10. Um, okay, so I'm just doing the Solemn Recruit double strike at you. Everything is Vigilance. So, Solemn Recruit, by itself, is, uh, hmm. It's a 10-10, huh? Yeah. Hmm. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Um. What? Sure, yeah, let me just, just swing the Solemn Recruit at you. Um. I will swing the Valiant. Sorry, Sir Connor's a 5 4. Okay. I'll swing the Valiant Changeling, 4 4 double strike at Mark. The Barakos is also going at you, Mark. Um, and how big is this mammoth? It's a 6 Corey? 5. Jesus Christ. Um, the Changeling is coming at you, Corey. Okay, it's another one. It's a two. It's a, it's a two, two, now. two now. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very impressive. Yep. yep. Um, <laughs> Very impressive. Grim Harrisbex is coming at you, Mark. Grim Hireling is coming at you, Mark. Probably shouldn't attack with that. Yeah, let's not attack with that. Um, and. Um, uh, mage is attended. Just going at uh, Rob. And Changing Outcast is already going at Corey. Rob, you're also going to get the Deep Gnome Time Answer. Good lord. Uh, Rob, you're also going to get the 2 2 Blue Wizard. And also the Order the of the fork. White Clay. You don't have a 6-6 six, six mammoth, so you're just going to get a lot of stuff. Um, okay, so those are my attacks. These two are not attacking. Uh, the yeah. one's doing all the work, yeah. So these are going to Rob, these are going Oof. to Mark, and this single guy is going to Corey. How big is your biggest creature? Biggest creature is this 6... Uh, it's a 7-7 seven, seven double strike up here. 7-7 seven, seven double strike. Oh, you know. I'll also have indestructible and vigilance until I'm sure. Oh, that's right. That's a big. That's a big one. Quite good. I have a what? Three three double strike. A three three. Or, sorry, four four double strike. A three five commander with no abilities except for the attack, and a four three. By the way, on attack you lose five. I'll gain five treasures. Oh, I'm just gonna say I'm dead. Okay. okay. So I guess it matters how I block because of Sir Conrad and I can Good. five so four you can only kill I uh, mean I'll block one with the Visser Seer, which would die because that's how I'm, if I die anyway, I guess Sir Conrad doesn't trigger, right? Um I don't know if you die anyway, because you'll block the double striker with the one one, right? Yeah. Oh man, you'll block Baracos. Oh, I thought they all had I thought they all had double strike. No. Uh, they all have Vigilance and Indestructible. 
Oh, then yeah, I'm definitely could, blocking the double strike. Yeah, and the That's next sure. biggest is um, Grim Horror Specs, so you can block that with uh, Sir Conrad. Okay, I'm sorry, I thought they all had double strike. Okay, totally fine. Yeah. But Sir Conrad will die. Kuro, what's it's going on? Die. Welcome in. How you doing? Oh my god, a raid. <laughs> Am I dead without Sir I know, Conrad? another raid, right? As, so another raid. The first one was when we were starting, the next one is when this one's almost done. Yeah. How you doing, Kuro? Yogg, yeah. hello, Des Adam. You know what's messed up is one time I was doing a stream and I typed in the chat slash raid and I typed in somebody, but then it said like they have to be like, you know, they have to be something a for subscriber. you to raid them. It's like a subscriber chat or whatever. Really? Yeah. Hmm. It's brutal. I was messed up. That's really bad. Um, so if I weren't blocking with Sir Conrad, what's the toll I'm taking? You would be taking uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven. Only seven. Seven plus. Yep. Didn't you say I was taking an extra two? Uh, plus five. Seven. Plus so thirteen. Five. Ugh, I'd be at one. Twelve. Yes. <sighs> Wait, that's twelve. Seven plus five is twelve, right? Oh, yeah. so I'd be at two. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> say, fuck it, and I'm gonna go down to two. Fantastic. All right, so what's the second biggest creature you have, Shauna? Second biggest creature. <laughs> yeah, is beyond the a... double packer. Four, three. Okay, and they have indestructible, right? Correct. So the crystalline giant would do first strike and double strike damage because it Correct. wouldn't kill it with first strike damage. Correct. Okay, I'm gonna block the second biggest thing you have. Which is, you mean uh, the second biggest thing that's attacking you, right? Correct. Uh, so this is a four or three. So okay, so four or three, and then I'll take whatever the rest is. Okay. So that'll um, be um, 10, wait, no, 14, 14. Um, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. All right, and I'll gain 20, so I'll take one. That's insane. That's dumb. That's so That's stupid. Crazy, wow. crazy stupid dumb. Uh, are you going to take two, Corey? I took it, yeah. I can't block it. Fantastic. <laughs> all right, okay, so <laughs> and did only Viscerous here died out of all of that? Correct. <laughs> You're all gonna take one. Take that. I did. Oh, it. son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> Y'all thought so, I was losing. I'm actually winning. I'm out here. On attacks, uh, I will go ahead and make six treasures. Or sorry, on damage, I'll make six treasures. Go to fifteen. I will um, pay a black. This mammoth is how big again? Six six. To six five. I'll sacrifice five treasures. Go down to ten to kill the mammoth. Yeah. And then you'll all take one. Oof. I should stop doing that. Take that. Maybe Take I should kill that. I Maybe I should kill Sir Conrad. I'm doing nothing. <laughs> I mean, you just made me take one and I'm at 12, so. Yeah, it's, it's not a good um, sign. I'll tap the swamp to kill the monkey. Get Are you kill my another, monkey? You all take another <gasps> one on that. Is so that another one? It's another one, yep. yeah. I'm down to 11. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go to end step uh i'll put another counter on solemn recruit go to six and i will pass the turn oh you're all in trouble now i can feel oh, it no. in my bones here it comes i'm very afraid i can't use it uh i'm gonna pay two for sir conrad uh each player puts the top card of their library to the graveyard you can just say mill, crazy person. Uh -huh. A mind blade render. Yep. Escape the world. So, uh, any uh, any creature in that? Creature. No. <laughs> so, one. one creature? Yep. All right, so you all take one. Ouch. Oh, man. Damning Verdict is the card that you got. That would have been so sweet. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to pay two, and we're going to do it again. Oh, no. swap. Great hand. Well, Mask with Nexus. Um, Vorel of the Hullclade. So I'll take another one. one. Ouch. And then I'm going to do it again. Because it's the only way I can do anything this game. I, I love I really it. Should I should have killed Sir Conrad. Uh, that'll be a creature for me. Devoted Druid. Creature for me. Creature for me. The three, you, all three. Take, you all take three. I should if I can kill Sir Conrad. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and then I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pass and go into this sweet night. Amazing. I did it. Who said I didn't do anything this game? It's amazing. I'm going to drop it. A nice. That times. literally could have been what times. changed this game. <laughs> From like Shauna winning to not winning. I'm already. I would have. The I'm whole time I was like, dead. man, if I can just pull out some 
stupid ass win. It's the most. That's the most Mark Wade win. It's just uh, I um, my deck doesn't do anything, and then I don't know where I'm like, uh -huh. Prairie stream for land of return. Um. Yeah. We're gonna go to combat counter and roll for that one. That's a nine. That's vigilance. Um. Yeah. For... Do you have any flyers over there, Shauna? No, absolutely not. Please kill me. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> okay. Not a single flyer. Okay, that's uh, that's going to be six, eight, eleven. So twenty-two in the air over to you. You oh. got it. Jesus. Perfect. Stupid. It's finally got vigilance, so the game. Yeah, over, that was right that was the one exactly. Yeah. Please just give me vigilance and we're out of here. I just can't believe you got hexproof so early. Like that was so. You're at forty still. I just got. I just gained twenty two. Oh my yeah. God. Oh well. Shit. Oh, actually, I gained. I'm sorry. I gained eleven because the second one didn't oh. even hit. You were dead off the yeah, first eleven. It, yeah. Yeah. That is great. Twenty nine. Dumb. And then I'll tap oh, these okay. two, four, six. These six for Perry. And we'll put the shield counter on Perry. Nope. <laughs> Sean's like, I'm out. No, oh, I've been exiled. It looks like you've navigated away from the page or you're removed oh, no. by the host. I didn't. I, Whoa, didn't, I, didn't I was like, anything. oh my god. Corey? Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't do Corey, it. Corey, wow. how could you? I didn't even wow. win. I didn't do it. Corey. I was like, wow, that's extreme salt right there. That's extreme I, salt. That's what right? I thought. I was like, oh my gosh. I did like murder <laughs> three of his creatures. Yeah, I'm so I do sorry. Feel about, and I'll take that into the next day for no, sure. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm done. Pass the turn. All right. Uh, untap. I'll draw a card. Man, how are you back down to 29? Uh, I only gained 11 from that attack. Uh, not, oh, not only, only 11. Yeah. A, hu a humble 11. Yes. A hum. Yes. Correcto mundo. All right. How do we do this? That thing's got hex proof. That's big time. Uh, Big right. time. What do you? Uh, it's, it's hey, Corey, source. Yeah, do you need the link again? Think of, just think of no, no it's fine. Oh. Just think of all the abilities and magic it has. Yeah, that. it's got all. Of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got everything, but if it hits you, well, I guess it doesn't hit you. In the game. <laughs> it does have that right now, actually. Eight and two. I wish I could split it. Nobody say anything funny. I need. <laughs> I need a fly. I need to reach it real bad right now. All right. Uh, I'm going to minus two. So exile target creature you control, then reveal cards from the top of my library until I reveal a creature card with higher converted mana cost. Put that card into the battlefield and then the rest in the bottom. So I'm gonna minus two. I'm gonna exile this scorpion. And then anything uh, with a higher so CMC. You all take one. Uh it's exile. Does it count for exile? Uh whenever a creature dies or a creature is put into Oh, you exile it. Nope. Yeah. Alright. You're right. Yeah, you're right. So we got a uh, but you do Do you get the dice trigger from the scorpion? Uh, no, because it's just exile. It's being exiled. Uh, so we got a Dream Pillager. What'd I do? Uh, so flying, whenever Dream Pillager uh, deals combat damage to a player, exile that many cards uh, from the top of my library until the end of turn. I can cast spells from among them, uh, among the exiled cards. Excuse me. 
So basically when it deals combat damage, I exile four cards and I can play them. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna tap two. I'm gonna play Sakura Tribe Elder from Exile. I will deal two damage to Rob. Yep. 27. And then, what did you have again for uh, Instant and Sorceries in your graveyard, uh, Rob? Uh, the... Okay, so we have Damning Verdict, which is destroy all creatures with no counters on them. <laughs> okay. Um, Tezzeret's Gambit, draw two cards and proliferate. Uh, okay. Storm of Forms, which is... Uh, when you cast a spell, copy it for each number of counters, for each kind of counter among permanents you control, you may choose new targets for that, and it's return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Okay. And Broker's Confluence. How much mana is the Tezzeret's Gambit? Four, but it's three and one blue for Rexian. Okay. So I can't even... I can't even cast it. Well, I'm just gonna do this and not get anything. I'm gonna pay one red to play the Dire Fleet Daredevil from Exile, uh, and I'll deal two damage to you, Rob. 25. And then I will pass the turn. And as I said last turn, you're all in trouble now. Nope. These are all cards I would have loved to have earlier. So I'm gonna pay two. I forgot a Conrad. I'll be a nether trader, so that's one. Get out. Force of Vigor. Uh, and Guru, you flipped. Right. Bribe Taker. So that'll be another one. So we're losing two, Rob. Yep. And then I'm going to do two. I'm going to do it again. That's Skull Plane. Planes. Got a rousing refrain. Ah, oh, damn it. Then I'll do it again. Or swap. <laughs> I am a cool fuck. Guy ship plunderer. Show so two. That'll be that'll be another two, and then <sighs> uh, once again I will be passing the turn. Amazing. Okay. Um, God. Draw. Huh. We'll go to combat and um, put that on there. Roll. That's already one of them. Two already got it. Nine already got it. One is flying. Already got that one. Can't just pick. No, it's it's at random, unfortunately. How many do you have left? Two is hex proof. No, wait, two. We only have two left. Can you do odds or evens? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, yeah, just do. Is it? Hold on, let me see. Death touch and menace. Yeah, totally. Odds is death touch. Perfect. We're gonna swing that at you. Corey. Okay. And uh, parry the pulverizer at you, Mark, and I will target Perry with his own ability, and he will get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He'll get though. He'll get plus eleven, plus eleven, and trample. So oh, and trample. I'm going to attempt to cast a heroic intervention. <laughs> What does that do? Uh, creature, uh, permanence you control gain hexproof and indestructible till end of turn. Okay. And I'll block with my 4-4 f- uh, four, four flyer. I gained indestructible too, right? Uh, I will block with Sir Conrad. 
Actually, dealing one damage, damage and then dying. Yep, and Corey, you will take. You have trample. Yes, indeed. How big is it? It is a twelve, twelve. Well, that's enough to kill me. <laughs> I yep. only have four life. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! GGs. I was ready. I was ready with a plan the next turn. I was gonna kill everybody. <laughs> That's always what I happens. Died, I died like I died like four turns. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was rough. That Pretty was good rough. Game. That was a good yeah. game. Though. That was good. That was good. had us on the ropes there for a while. <laughs>